Hey friends, welcome back. It's been a little while. As of the last update on the bees, population was down. They were almost struggling a little bit. I got a great suggestion from somebody in the comments about feeding. I took their advice. I've been feeding them ever since uh, for one week now. And in one week, they've taken over a gallon of syrup. So the feeding plan is going well. Population is up now. And the good news is they're about to get some neighbors. I found a uh, posting today on Facebook, Southeast Michigan Beekeepers, I believe it is, uh, a lady who caught a swarm back at the end of May and she put it into a five frame nuke. It's been doing good. She's got larvae, she's got eggs, which means she has a queen. She needs to get rid of it. She has way too many bees. 100 bucks, she said, I can have it. Uh, so this afternoon, I'm gonna head north about 30, 40 minutes, pick up that nuke. But the second hive over there on the far side, we need to get that one ready. So I kind of dropped this one in place uh, in a temporary position quickly when I moved the beehives from back farther in the pasture where they were up here. And I never really did much with it after that. It hasn't been leveled. I need to level it out. I need to pull the frames that are in it out and do a good inspection of them, pick the five cleanest ones. So when I install the nuke later today, everything's ready. I can just come out here tonight, drop in the new nuke and, and be good to go. Yeah, this is a good frame. Look at this, like dice yellow, not fully drawn out. So there's still work for the bees to do. I think I might have already gone through all of these and picked. Yeah, I'm thinking that I did. Because I added some empty ones. Yeah, these are all nice frames. Get rid of these dead bees. Yeah, this will look, this will work nice, nice and clean. one still has some old bread in it. No sign of any wax moths or anything like that. So I left this in place and I actually baited it with some lemongrass. So I hoping that maybe somebody would come along and decide it was a good home. So you got one, two, three. I like these ones. Two that are drawn really, really well and three that are barely like 25% drawn. So it'll give them some work to do. I've been adding a little more angle to my hives this year than I have previously. One of those things like the more you, the longer you're a part of something, the more you're gonna learn. As long as you keep learning, you're doing good. So I think we're good to go. It's nice and level this way. I got like a four to five degree tilt towards the front. So now we just need to wait till a little bit later in the afternoon. She sent me a picture of, of the nuke from earlier today and they were bearded up nicely. It seemed like a really strong colony. I'm surprised they've survived in a, in a five frame nuke for two months like they have. They're definitely in need of more space. But I'm gonna wait till a little later in the evening to head up there that way, if there's foragers out, there's a better chance that most of them will be back into the nuke by that time. So our Cornish Cross meat chickens, update on them. They are all doing good. 25 of them we purchased, 25 of them are still alive. They're eating and pooping like, like little demons right now. But they're at least quadrupled in size from what we purchased them. We've been keeping them in our chicken tractor. We've been moving them once a day now. The first week or so we moved them every couple of days. Now we're moving them every day. They'll probably get to the point where we'll be moving them twice a day. And we have them strategically placed right now around this mulberry tree that's growing above our shed. And it's basically covering the ground with purple berries. So when they move to a new spot, they all turn purple. Their bellies will turn purple and they get plenty of good food. It's hot here today. They've been going through water like crazy. It's 86 degrees, like 90% humidity. It's kind of miserable. I don't like the heat. So I was heading out here to the bee barn. I was gonna bring my bee suit to pick up the nuke later and I figured I'd come out here and grab it and throw it in my truck. So I was ready to go later and 
I started thinking about that first hive and I'm pretty sure that feeder is just about empty. So I'm gonna head out and uh, pull that feeder off and refill it, make up some more syrup. I kind of was waiting until a cooler day to do this, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be cooling off anytime soon. If you guys have missed Rachel, she is out of town right now. Her and Abigail have gone to Florida. They are in Orlando, Florida. In fact, at this very moment in time right now, I believe they're at Cocoa Beach. They're both in their bathing suits sitting on the beach, getting their tan on. <laughs> so that's where Rachel's been for the last couple days and where she's going to be for the immediate future for the next um, four days, five days, something like that before they get back. So a lot less bees in the feeding chamber today and it is bone dry. I'm really not a fan of this style of feeder because it's pretty intrusive. You can't just crack the lid and dump some food in and move on. You gotta actually disturb your bees. But while I'm here, I'm gonna do a quick check on things. It's been a week, so I don't feel bad about really digging into these girls and seeing what's going on in here. I really wanna keep a close eye on things this year and be a more responsible beekeeper. Definitely way more population than we had before. Way more. Yeah, this outer frame is pretty packed with syrup now. They might be the day to put that suit, that next uh, brood chamber on for them. Yeah. Yeah, this whole top half, there's the queen right there. whole top half is all full same on this side they got the top half full so queen is over here don't let me forget and they keep building all this burr comb oh yeah things are looking better still a strange pattern Yeah, all the uh, uncapped larvae right there. A lot of them. This population's about to go way up. They're gonna need more space. Oh yeah, look at all that burr comb on the bottom of there. That's weird. Yeah, our population is good. I'm gonna take this out in the sun. I need to see it in the bright light. Yeah, so I'm three quarters of the way across. And I'm feeling really good about this hive now. If you asked me like a week ago, or two weeks ago, I was worried I was about to lose them. I think I'm gonna add a second brood chamber today because all these bees are all gonna hatch soon. I don't know what I think of those, but I have a couple frames in the bottom, in the bottom chamber of those black plastic ones, and I'm not a fan of those really. They uh, they seem really flimsy. I can keep my top entrance intact. It'll just be up 10 inches from where it was. We can go get the feeder refilled. I'll set it back right here where it was. Put the super frame on top. And then our inner cover and then our top cover. And these girls are sitting pretty. I'm feeling good. I feel better. I feel more responsible. If that's a good word for it. Well, I definitely think I met my criteria for being 70, 80, 70 to 80% full on the bottom. When you get to that point, it's okay to add a second brood, cha brood chamber. I feel pretty good about that. We'll call these guys good for now. We'll check back on them in a week.
the next weekend maybe. It's a bit later in the evening now. It's uh, not sure what time it is, six o'clock or so maybe. So it's getting a bit later in the evening. I'm gonna head back up to the house, drop off my bee suit in my truck. I'm gonna take it with me to pick up the nuke and uh, we're gonna relax for a little while and cool off and then we'll hit the road and head north and pick up some more bees. Well, I have returned. My trip was successful. I was a little worried at first. You guys are all crooked here. I was a little worried at first because the first nuke that we opened was all medium frames and everything that I run as deep frames, except for my supers are mediums. She's like, no, okay, let's check this other one. She had probably 10 nukes all around her house. She had one on her front porch even because she hates when people leave packages on her porch. <laughs> but this nuke is, I. Uh, I don't know how long they've been in here. I'm suspecting a long time because I've never seen a nuke this completely, totally packed. The entire thing, there's like zero space anywhere in there to fit anything. It's all comb. The entire top is filled with honey. This thing is packed. It is about 8.30 quarter till nine now. I'm gonna lose my light here really soon and I want to be able to film this for you guys. I want to show you guys how massive this nuke is. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to take the nuke back and set it right next to the hive where they're going to go. And what we're going to do is pick up on this tomorrow morning. We'll come back out and we'll try to figure out how I'm going to pull this thing apart because it's a mess inside. They're definitely deep frames and they're full, but all around is completely packed. So should be quite the adventure trying to get these girls installed. So check out the next video. It's gonna be installing this super nuke. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.